This is how to get your files and data back after your D drive suddenly goes missing on your Windows 10 and Windows 11 PC. And by the way, if you get any value out of this video at all, make sure to subscribe and leave a comment and like down below and let me know. All right, let's get started. So first of all, a very quick disclaimer, I say this before all of the file and data recovery tutorials that I do, is that you must stop using the D drive partition as soon as possible to prevent overwriting the files. Lost files can oftentimes be recovered very, very easily so long as they aren't overwritten. And so stopping use of the drive or the D drive partition in this case as soon as possible is the way to best ensure best results. So you might have noticed that your D drive suddenly just goes missing out of nowhere, suddenly after a botched OS update or an assigned drive letter that's not assigned anymore, or a partition being hidden, power outage, or even just straight up corruption. And we're going to be dealing with this in two different steps. So first we're going to be actually recovering the data off of our drive or the D partition to be specific. And then we're going to be trying to get use of that drive back, essentially restoring functionality to the drive. Both steps kind of depend on one another and it's important that you follow them in order. So be sure to follow this tutorial in order all the way through and you shouldn't have any problems. All right, so first let's start with the data recovery aspect of things. And in order to execute this, we're going to be using a piece of data recovery software called Disk Drill. Disk Drill is the software suite that we need to get this task done. It includes all the tools you need to recover, but also protect and optimize your data to the fullest, regardless of the scenario that you're in. Specifically, it will allow us to scan for files that we cannot physically see inside of Windows Explorer, which is key in this situation because we actually can't physically see or access our D drive. That's kind of the whole point. It truly is best in class and it can be downloaded for free from the link in the description below. All right, but once Disk Drill is downloaded and installed on your PC, go ahead and open up the application and it will greet you with the data recovery panel and the disk list, a list of all drives that are connected to your PC at the moment. So at this point, obviously ensure that the drive that contains the D partition is connected to your PC, which for mine it is, so we're going to continue and then select it from the list, then hit search for lost data. And once the scan finishes, you can browse through all the files that were found during the scan. There are also separate tabs that you can use, which you can use to narrow down your options. And also ensuring that files can be previewed intact inside of Disk Drill is a really key way to ensure that those files are 100% recoverable. Then after you've found the files, you can select the ones you need, hit recover, choose a save location separate from the drive itself, and hit okay. Okay, so now that our files are safe, let's move on to step number two, which is gonna be restoring drive functionality. And the first thing that we can try is to have Windows just rescan for disks. Sometimes Windows can get interrupted before it has a chance to establish a healthy connection to a drive, which can result in an incomplete connection and a lack of functionality. And rescanning can sometimes be the solution. So to do this, starting from your desktop, hit Windows and the X key together and select Device Manager. Then select the drive that needs to be rescanned then hit action and rescan disks. And of course, wait for it to be completed. And that's pretty much it for method number one. And if that doesn't work, you can move on to method number two, which is going to be reinstalling the drivers for that particular drive that the D partition is on. So while this is somewhat rare, outdated or corrupt drivers can cause lapses in functionality, which can include missing partitions. And so while not all that common, it is a quick fix if it happens to be the issue. So to do that, head back to device manager, Expand the menu of disk drives and select the drive from the list. Then right click it and select update driver. Then in the window that appears, select automatically search for drivers. And also keep in mind that if an automatic search or an automatic update does not work, most drivers can be manually downloaded from the manufacturer's website if you happen to know it. And most manufacturers have separate instructions on how to do this yourself. So the third option is getting a little more technical, but still practical, and that is using a Windows admin tool called GP Edit to essentially unhide the D drive. And that is done by adjusting settings or policies of one item or multiple items at once. So using GP Edit is pretty straightforward. First, you can bring up the Run dialog by hitting Windows and R, then enter gpedit.msc and press Enter. Then on the left side, hit User Configuration and Admin Templates, then hit Windows Components. And from the list, click File Explorer, click Hide these specified drives in my computer, and if you find any drives that are hidden, select Disabled in the top left corner and make sure to save your changes. All right, so the next thing, number four, the fourth thing we can try to reinstate drive functionality is just to change or reassign the drive letter that is assigned to the D drive partition itself. All you have to do is just open your start menu, 
Hit Disk Management, find your D drive in the list, right click, and from the list select Change Drive Letter and Paths, and click on Add. Then using the drop down you can choose the letter that you want for your drive, this doesn't matter at all. Then click OK to apply the changes. Alright, finally the last and most extreme measure that you can take to fix this problem is to literally restore your entire system. While this is a bit drastic, it's pretty foolproof, and especially if you have a backup saved before the point that you actually lost your D drive, it makes sense. And it's pretty straightforward to do so long as you have a backup point. That is what it is predicated upon. So if you do not have a Windows backup saved of some kind, do not do this. But if you know you have a Windows backup point of some kind before the D drive went missing, this is what you can do to perform this. So open up your control panel, then hit System and Security, click System, and navigate to System Protection, then hit System Restore. Then from the list, choose your restore point, which can either be a separate external drive or a backup stored already on your PC. And from here, follow the wizard until you're prompted to restart. Then once your PC reboots, it should be restored to the point where your D drive is functional. And so that's it. That is how you recover your files and restore drive functionality to your D drive partition on your Windows 10 or 11 PC in two easy steps. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, always be sure to leave us a like down below. Also, if you have any questions, comments, things you want me to cover in a future video, be sure to let me know down below in the comments section as well. But until next time, my name is Andrew, and thank you for watching.